Now, GM says that you have to wait 500 miles, a break-in period is what they call it, before you can make the car do what it can do. I don't necessarily agree, but I'm going to follow the rules. If you're watching this video, then you're probably pretty familiar with or you're interested in high performance sports cars. And you probably already know that there's a 500 mile break in period, at least for Corvettes, there's a 500 mile break in period. I think generally they say with sports cars, 1500 miles, you should kind of take it easy. You shouldn't take it and put it on a track before that time. So this 500 mile break in period is like got to be the worst. If you're a new car owner and this car is supposed to have all of these magnificent things it can do, I'm not gonna talk about speed because we don't speed. This 500 mile break-in period is to allow the car to mesh everything together. And some of the rules are no hard braking, um, no hard cornering, and you're supposed to vary your speed nothing over 4,000 RPMs. So what GM does is through the computer, it governs the RPMs on your car. So it takes the red line from 65,000, I'm sorry, 6,500 to 4,500. Usually that's the setting that the car goes into on a cold start. If you live in cold climates or it happened to be a cold morning, you go to start your car up and your RPMs, it's kind of shifted. It goes from 6,500 to 4,500. Once the car warms up, all the restrictions go away. The thing that you may not realize is that the red line going from 6,500 to 4,500, you can't really get on the car. I mean, if you wanted to thump it and, and, and maybe race somebody or something like that, you can't do it because once you hit 4,500 RPMs, the car is gonna bog down. And if you know anything about sports cars, or if you know anything about red lines, you're not doing much of anything. And if you had money on the line, shame on you. So now once you've followed all of the rules and you've let you know little white Nissans come up and try to blow your doors off and there's not really much you can do about it, you're supposed to take the car into the dealership to get an oil change and to go through an inspection to make sure that the car is progressing properly. Like I said before, once you hit the 500 mile mark, the restrictions on the RPMs go away. So you can hit 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 RPM and just let the car come alive. 
Okay, of course, now I had a game plan. And the game plan went a little something like this. Last Tuesday, I went to the park with the idea of putting Miles on the car. I figured I'd ride around, enjoy the park, and just have a good time. Second part of that is I was gonna make an appointment on Friday to go in and get the oil change and get the inspection. Turns out that they couldn't get me in and I had to wait till Monday. Tuesday at the park, I thought I was gonna put like 450, 460, maybe 470 miles on the car. I ended up with like 412, 413, something like that. Somewhere in that area. Not a successful plan. So not having the appointment on Friday and having it for Monday was a better deal. So Monday comes around, I go to the dealership, I'm thinking, hey, the ride there, I should be hitting 500 miles right about the time I get there. I got to the dealership, I was at only 470. Now my question is this, if it's supposed to be a 500 mile break in and you only have 470, can they still do it? Yes, they did. 470, got the oil changed, got the inspection, everything was good. So now I'm thinking to myself, that probably turned out better than I planned because before I hit the 500 miles, I got the okay that the car is doing good and I can do what I need to do. So now as of 15 minutes ago, I hit the 500 mile mark. Inspections is done, oil change is done, restrictions is gone. It's now time to go find that little white Nissan. And that little white Nissan, the person driving it, you know who you are. When you see me coming, you might as well stop your car. And I'm gonna let them know, no I'm not. I'm gonna go home and get something to eat. Until next time, have fun. Don't forget to subscribe. Be safe, and I'll see you on the other side. And just remember, that's a serious investment that you've made. So follow the rules, take care of business so that it will last and it will perform the way that it's specced out to perform. And if you're feeling generous, take care of the car so that when you decide to move on to another car and you get ready to pass your baby on to someone else, that they can enjoy it just as much as you did. Appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm. Having a good time and doing no harm. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car. Looking for some kind of open bar. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm. Having a good time and doing no harm. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright.
inspections is done, oil change is done, restrictions is gone, it's now time to go find that little white Nissan. And that little white Nissan, the person driving it, you know who you are. When you see me coming, you might as well stop your car. And I'm gonna let them know, no I'm not. I'm gonna go home and get something to eat. <laughs>